Welcome back to part three of our four part video series into the journey of the world of Macintosh. In this next part of the production process, we begin to look at really what makes Macintosh unique and so special. Let's get into it. We're here at part three, where we're going over output transformer manufacturing. If you didn't check out our prior videos, make sure you go check them out and make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss out on any of our new videos as well. Charlie, output transformers from Macintosh. Talk to me a little bit about that. We use three types of output transformers, one for vacuum tubes and the other two are for solid state. Back when the company originally started, obviously it was around vacuum tube technology. That's all that existed. However, as the technology morphed to solid state, they found a great application for the output transformer. And today we're the only company that uses it. Hmm. And in the case of the solid state amplifiers and with the vacuum tube amplifiers, with a Macintosh amplifier, you are guaranteed to get all the power that you paid for. We have a very famous solid state amplifier called the MC-462. Yes. That's a 460 watt stereo amplifier. It's not only 460 watts in the eight ohms, it's also 460 watts in the four ohms, and it's 460 watts in the two ohms. If we didn't have the output transformer, we wouldn't be able to claim that. So the nice thing about the transformer, it impedance matches to whatever your loudspeakers are, to the amplifier. That way the amplifier is never gonna overheat. It's never gonna shut down. 15, 20 years ago is when we really started designing products around this quad balance technology. And basically it's pretty simple. What it means is the amplifier is fully balanced from input to output. And so what does that mean? The easiest way to explain it is let's take the 1.25 kW. It's okay. a mono block, it's one channel. Yep. So instead of it being one big 1200 watt channel of amplification, it's actually two 600 watt channels of amplification. And as you know, a balanced cable has three pins. One is ground, two is the negative, three is the positive. Mm -hmm. And this thing has a balanced input. Mm -hmm. We amplify the two minus and we amplify the three positive and we drive the top and bottom of the transformer, combines the two 600 watt amplifiers, gives you 1200 watts. And because it's fully balanced, the signal and noise floor is improved by about 15 dB compared to what we can get with the single-ended design like we would use in the integrators. And it's those technologies that really separate Macintosh, it seems. That's correct, especially the output transformer. And without the output transformer, the quad balance um, design wouldn't be possible. That's just another way that Mac steps ahead of the curve, it seems, you know. Macintosh always innovating and having these different things that really separate them from the mold. That's awesome. So Charlie, now after they make the transformer, how is that then placed into the product at that point? Yeah, so after the, after the transformer is cored and physically finished and put together, obviously it has to be put in its closure, which is another really unique process that we have to hold the transformer into the enclosure. And it's what we call tar potting. Tar potting, break that down for me, what that refers to. So tar potting is really what it's called. So we throw raw tar into a cauldron, melt it down at 450 degrees, and we pump it out like hot fudge, and basically fill the enclosure that the transformer is gonna sit in full of tar. And the advantages of tar versus other substances, tar, when it's in its molten state, is as expanded as far as you can get it. When it cools, it contracts, and it seals all the laminations on the transformer so they don't make any noise. Mm. A step above that is in the case of like both the power transformer and the output transformer, because they're suspended in the tar, they're not touching the enclosure, they're only touching the walls of the tar. It's an isolator, so we don't have any mechanical transfer from the transformer into the chassis to make any type of mechanical plugs. All of this done to make everything quiet inside, huh? With a simple substance called tar. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Charlie, thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to like and subscribe so that way you don't miss out on our next video where we'll be going through the final processes on putting everything together. That assembly, that's gonna be awesome. You guys don't wanna miss it. 
tune in. Thanks for watching, guys.